based on the willpower um, main skill, which is this menu right here. I have a willpower of 30, which is pretty low, but that's normal for an Imperial. <coughs> and a fighting character in general. Other skills that you can level up just by walking around and jumping um, are like athletics, which allow you to jump and run faster. And there's a whole whole ton of skills that you can look at um, under the major and minor skills menu. And those have already been selected at this point when you were playing the tutorial in the sewers. So anyway, I'm walking up here. This is the fastest way to get to it. Now you can fast travel in this game as well, and right from the get-go. But usually as you go further in the game, um, you can't fast travel to a location until you've discovered it. But as you can see, if I go to my map thing here and go to the world map, you'll see different icons that I can actually warp to if I clicked yes, which right now I'm not going to. So I'm going to go into the market district quick and then buy a few things and then this is the road we're going to head out to to the northwest. All the way up this road right to Wayne and Priory which is the site of our first mission. Which reminds me, I need to switch that as to the active quest. These three last ones are your active quest, which is the one you're doing right now, all the quests that you can do, which is under the current quest menu, and then finally the completed quests, which is the ones you've already done, which obviously, since this is the beginning of the game, the only one I've completed is the tutorial for this one. So I'm going to locate the, um, let's see, deliver the amulet mission, which is part of the main storyline. You can see the history of what you've been doing and what you should do next. You should take the Amulet of Kings to Joffrey at Wayne and Priory near the city of Coral, Oops. which is this city right here. And then you'll notice that since it's an active mission, there's a red arrow there that locates where you need to go. And you can also see that on your map, um, the far right at the bottom there. Um, it's kind of hard to see probably, but um, there's a faint red arrow there. And when it's a red arrow, um, that's a sign that the character is either in a building or a city, and so you need to get in there before you can actually get to him. And then when it turns to a green arrow, you, you know he's in the same area you, as you. So anyway, here's the Imperial City, which is where you'll probably spend a lot of time buying and selling stuff, at least early in the game. I'll go ahead and head right into the Market District here. Okay. And there's lots of people you can talk to, too. They're just all over the place. And I'm not going to bother talking with anybody since this is just a quick beginner's tutorial. But um, if you head to the left, there's a Three Brothers, or Three Brothers Trade Goods, which is a place that I usually go to sell most of my stuff. Gain some money here. And then, there's two brothers that are in here, obviously, but one of them tends to go out at certain times of the day. Tertullian, so I'll Sergius talk to and Sergius. Cicero, the three Verus brothers. Skip his. You can talk to him and stuff, but the main thing that I'm interested in is the uh, buy and sell menu, which is this middle button here with the uh, two arrows in a circle. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's now, something to see. You. Similar to the, um, like when you're looting a chest or a body. It's the same icons again. You've got a what he has to sell icon, and then uh, what you can sell to him, which is on you. There's also a Hegel button here, which allows you to buy and sell items um, for more or less than what their value is. And you kind of have to play around with it. It depends on how good they are, how good their mercantile skill is, and what their disposition, how much they like you, and stuff like that is to you. So, for now, I'm just going to leave it as is, <coughs> um, and save that for another tutorial. So, I'm going to sell some things here. You'll notice that the value of some of my items isn't as much as what it normally is, and again, that comes back to him being a, a merchant and, you know, needing to 
buy and sell at a profit. So that's where the Hagel menu comes in handy. But right now I'm going to sell my arrows and I've got 113 of them so that'll translate into 113 gold for me. I'm going to sell my bow. That's a good deal. My three iron daggers which I don't need. I'm going to keep my long sword. I'm going to sell my short sword. You've made it. War axe. My rusty iron bow. And by the way, um there's um, rusty items that you start out with in the game, and the, I think the only main difference between the rusty items and non-rusty items is that they have less health points than regular um, items do. So I tend to try and get rid of those An as quickly as I can. So, let's see. And um, this is a good time to talk really quickly about light armor and heavy armor. Different characters can use different types of armor better than others, and it depends on what you set up as your major skills in the tutorial. But there's light armor, which isn't doesn't protect you as well, but is lighter and easier to use, so you can move faster. And then there's heavy armor, which um, Imperials can tend to use more than um, light armor, but it depends, again, on how you want to do it. Um, I'm going to prefer my heavy armor because it does protect me better and I don't really need to move about a whole lot, so that's what I'm going to do. But feel free to be either that's... light or heavy armor depending on how you set up your skills. And you can tell what it is um, when you highlight the item, it'll tell you whether it's light or heavy armor. And you'll notice that that's right now deal. I actually, for some of my stuff that's that deal. I have equipped here, I only have light armor items, so I'm going to try and replace those as best as I can. Some items, like the start stuff you started out with, like the sackcloth sandals you got in prison and stuff, I just go ahead and sell right away because all it is is clothing. A good price for and you can good either customer. drop or give away your wrist irons. I'll just give it away. Don't need those anymore. Novus Mortar and Pestles for making potions, but I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial. I'll sell some of my potions. Hard. I'm going to keep my potion of healing, which could be handy if I run out of magic. And I think I'll keep two of my weak potions of healing. Sell that. And the potion of sorcery is really useful if you want to restore some of your magic. Um, I don't usually keep them just the, from the way I play, so I'm just going to go ahead and sell them. But uh, for beginners, I would recommend keeping those um, just to be able to sell them better here. An excellent bargain. And it's definitely a, an involved game. It takes a lot of practice that to learn seems... what you want to keep and what you want to sell. That's a fair deal. Not sure how I picked up Sears. Torches are useful too for when it's nighttime, and if you didn't have an illusion spell like um, Starlight, like I have, um, you can light your way by using a torch. So I think I've sold everything I want to sell. So you can see I've gotten up to 450 um, gold gold pieces. I am. There's a bunch of different things you can buy. Uh, for now. I am from him anyway. I'm just gonna buy a couple of repair hammers. Say maybe, let's see how many. Um, I think I'll grab five of them. Pleasure doing business with you. And then I think I'm done. A pleasure. To Cut him off. Good day. Now I'll head back outside. <coughs> I'm gonna stop.